This video was made possible by FastCap, who've made the Geek Group's woodworking easier with their many inventive time-saving products. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. We're here today with Miss Moose. Hello. CNC goddess. This isn't very CNC. Well, it's, it's a CNC shop thing. It's a wood shop and all that. Now this is one of the new toys from FastCap. It is. It's called the Fast Break. And it's a special sanding block? It is. So you've seen woodworking where it has a hard corner on it, but the corner isn't sharp. Yeah. You could, that, that's made by sanding the edges off. You could sit there with a flat piece of sandpaper and try to get the angle and the depth right on all of the sides of your piece, or you could do something like this. Okay. So this, it's a sanding block with an inside corner. Yes. So this is the sanding surface. Yes. And you can store other bits of sandpaper in it. Yes. Now, you buy your own sandpaper for this and cut it to size, or do you get it in special sizes from them? Um, they ship you... A, a bit to, to start with, and they expect you to cut scraps to fit. Okay, so this, and it's not hard, it's just like a standard dimension. Because every woodworker has a preference for what grit they like to use. Okay. Can I try it out? Sure. Okay. I have, a, have piece a piece of wood. Of... What is this? This is a piece of Douglas fir. Okay. It's a really soft, easy piece of wood, but it will work. How did you do that? I did that on the tabletop disc sander. Ah, okay, because there's like circles. I'm like, oh, that's that's what cool. happens when you hold it too long in front of the sander. All right, so this is our standard mill this, edge. This went through the planer. Okay, so it's, then, it's a sharp. Yes, and this is the sort of edge that looks really great right now, but a month in your house, people taking things on and off a shelf. They get chewed up. It'll look awful because it'll get chewed up inconsistently. So you just use this like this. And there's really not a lot of thought that, that goes that, into it. You just... You boop. found it. Yeah, yeah, it's that easy. And now it's, it's still a sharp edge. It visually looks just as sharp as the other one, but when you... It you feels know, totally different. It feels different. If you have this as a shelf, every time you touch it, it's not going to wear the edge off and thus wear the paint off. And then boom, just like that. Much, That's much cleaner edge. Yeah. Now you could use this for aluminum. You really could, easily. Any any material that you would sand, okay. you could use it on. So you could use it on plastics or foams, I suppose. It's a clever idea. I mean, it's it's simple. There's there's it's not really a lot simple, to it. But the handle is extremely comfortable. And they put a lot of thought into the engineering of the handle. And it sure beats trying to make your own in that shape. Yeah. So it, and and you can do you can do the ends with it too. Yep. And the great thing is, is you can use this on any size of wood. It doesn't, yeah. It doesn't matter if Because I've just done something longer than it, and now I'm doing something shorter than it. And if the wood was three inches thick, it would work just as well. And some people like to use it more like this. Oh, yeah, that works. There's, I hadn't even thought of that. There's, I mean, whatever is more comfortable for you. That actually works way better. I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. But if your piece of wood is thicker than that, yeah, you, you can do, do it on the corner. Time. So yeah, I, that's definitely the better way. Cool. And when it's, when you use up that piece, you just unscrew the end, slide a new piece in, you're set. Well, if you are really a woodworker, when you get this all gunky, then you go wash it off and you put it back in and use it yeah, a couple times. Yeah, that's for serious guys. But you could put, you know, 1,200 grit in that and polish the edges of your work, too. Okay, cool. All right, so that's the fast break that's the from fast our break. friends at FastCap. Yes. All right, you guys have fun. I'm Chris. I'm Moose. And as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.